Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a cute little tote bag featuring the tote bag die and the Mom Plus Me stamps and dies from Lawn Fawn. To start, I kind of laid everything out to make sure it was going to fit on one side of the tote bag die, and then I'm going to take the new jalapeno ink and stamp the two grass images from the Mom Plus Me stamp set. I love this color of green. It's perfect for spring grass. Next, I'm gonna take the tree stump that has this adorable little heart cut out. I'm gonna ink that up with the Lawn Fawn Walnut ink and then stamp that. I did stamp it a couple of times and I apologize that it's out of the frame there for a couple of the images. Just because it was a brand new stamped image and sometimes you need to stamp them a couple times to get a nice crisp clean image. Now you could leave the heart as is and stamp some of the sweet little greetings there inside that come in the Mom Plus Me stamp set, or you can stamp the cute little heart image there inside to add a little pop of color. Next, I am gonna go ahead and stamp the owl image that's holding another owl using the intense black ink from Simon Says Stamp. This is a great waterproof ink, plus it's also works well for alcohol ink markers, so it kind of works for everything, which I absolutely love. And then I'm gonna color in the image with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. The colors I'm using are shown across the bottom of the screen here. I like to lay down my darkest color first, and then go in with my lightest color and watercolor, or kind of pull that color, the darker color, out. If it gets too light, you can always go back in with your darker color. I'm gonna color in the feet and the beaks with the orange, which is the 070. Then I'm gonna take my lighter colors and color in the face areas and then the little baby or the smaller owl. If you do need to go back in and add some darker color, I would recommend waiting until the ink has dried since this is some what kind of more of a watercolor type look or hit it with your heat tool to dry it quicker. I'm gonna add a little pink to the cheeks and then I'm gonna go ahead and die cut this then I went back in and with my darker brown marker added some little like feather marks all over the larger owl. It, this is gonna give it a little bit of texture. Now I did think it was a little too harsh, so after I did the darker marker, I went in with my lighter marker and kind of smoothed those out a little bit, which gave it some nice texture, but it isn't too harsh. Next, I'm gonna take some of the perfectly plaid six by six pattern papers and die cut them with the tote bag die. I'm gonna make sure that I get two of the exact same pattern paper. You're gonna need two pieces to put the tote bag together. Before you actually put the tote bag together, I would recommend leaving the bag flat once you have created the scene or added any embellishing that you want to do to the tote bag, then you can go ahead and put the bag together. Go ahead and pop all of that out real quick. I'm also going to take some of the new Lawn Fawn green grass or the green uh, cardstock here and use one of the simple stitched hillside border dies to create a border for the front of my tote bag to create that cute little scene. Now this didn't die cut all the way through, which is fine. What I'm gonna do is put a little adhesive on that and just kind of eyeball it, but center it there on the bottom front of my tote bag. And then I can simply take my scissors and snip the, that excess off. And that's gonna give me a nice little landscape along the bottom of the bag. Go ahead and just crease that, just make sure that looks good. I mean, using my Teflon bone folder to make sure I get a nice crisp crease. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of the creases on the tote bag. I'm not gonna assemble it yet, but I am gonna go ahead and make sure all of those score lines are nice and creased with my bone folder. Then I'm gonna use some glue dots 
to attach the tree stump, the owl, and the grass pieces to my card, or to my tote bag, rather. I love these tote bags because they can work for any occasion or holiday um, just by simply changing up what you embellish them with. I think this is a fun little tote bag for almost anything. I'm going to go ahead and score all of the fold lines on the other half of the bag. Make sure everything is scored nicely. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my black glaze pen and add detail to the eyes on the smaller owl. Really makes them pop. And take a little glossy accents and apply that to the beaks and the heart on the little scene. And my glossy accents was a little clogged so I used a straight pen to unclog it. And it's still clogged. I hadn't used it in a while, which, because normally with this new nozzle tip, it doesn't get clogged, but it was. And I got a little glob there on the larger beak, so I'm going to use that straight pen again to kind of smooth and smooth out that glossy accents to fill the space. I'll go ahead and fill the heart, and then I can set this aside to dry for a little bit. This is some of the Lawn Fawn black cardstock. I'm going to use a powder tool on it, and then taking the greeting from the Mom Plus Me stamp set. I'm going to mask off part of that greeting and then ink it up with Versamark ink and stamp it on the black cardstock. Make sure and remove that mask before you stamp. The Love You words, I'm going to sprinkle on some white embossing powder. tap off any of that excess. This is just so I can see where I've already been because I want to make sure and be able to stamp the rest of the greeting, which I need to clean really, really well first. Then I'm going to just do the same thing and mask off the love you portion now and ink up the rest of it that says owl always. Again, remove my mask, stamp those words right on top of the others. I left a little space there um, on the bottom line next to love you. There are some little, or there is a little teeny tiny heart in the Mom Plus Me stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that right next to it to finish out my greeting. I will make sure that the greeting itself has the white embossing powder. Then before I heat set it, I am going to take that small red heart. You could also heat set this first and then go back in with your red embossing powder if you wanted to. But I'll ink up that heart and then fill in that little space. And it just perfectly fills it in. I love that. Plus, I like the little pop of red. It coordinates nicely with the red heart on the tree stump. Once that's heat embossed, I'm going to take one of the Everyday Sentiment banners and die cut my banner and attach it there to the top of my tote bag. I'm just trimming off the rest and wrapping around a little portion to the inside of the bag. And then I'm going to assemble the bag by placing adhesive on all of those little tabs. All four tabs and then the bottom of one of the bags to assemble it and hold it together. Once I have the bag together, you can place a little treat or a gift card, maybe some confetti or something inside the bag, and then tie it shut with some pretty ribbon like I'm doing here. This is just some blue silk ribbon that I had on hand. Tie that in a pretty bow and that is going to finish off this cute little tote bag, gift bag project. I'll snip the ends of my ribbon. And there you go. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Lawn Fawn tote bag die plus the mom plus me stamps and dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring tote bags or goodie bags from Lawn Fawn. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.